In this video, we're going to show you how you can configure Burp Suite Enterprise Edition to integrate with Okta so that you can use SAML based SSO. Now, before you get started, there's a couple of prerequisites which need to be in place. First of all, under Network Settings and Burp, you'll need to make sure that your server URL includes both the protocol and port information. If you need help doing this, you can look at our documentation pages. Next, within Okta, you'll need to make sure that you've configured your users correctly. Once you've done this, you can get started with the integration. First, we'll go to the cog icon here, click Integrations, scroll down to SAML and click Configure. We'll need these three URLs later on in the process. Next, we're going to go to the Okta dashboard and sign in as an administrator. Once we're there, we're going to expand Applications and then click Applications within there. Then we'll click Create App Integration and choose SAML 2.0 and click Next. We'll then need to give the application a name. I'm just going to call this Burp Enterprise Documentation Demo, but you can name it whatever you like. We'll then need to provide some SAML properties, which Okta will provide during the SAML handshake. The first one is single sign-on URL. For this, we're going to use the relying party service URL from within Burp Enterprise. I'll just copy this link here and then paste it into here. Well then the recipient URL and destination URL checkbox is ticked. For audience URI, we're going to use the relying party trust identifier, again from the Enterprise Console. And I'll then paste that into here. We'll then need to add a group attribute statement. The name for that is going to be http colon slash slash schemas.xmlsoap.org forward slash claims forward slash group. The name format can stay as unspecified, and then the filter needs to be matches regex with the value of dot star. We can then click next. At this step, we can click I'm a software vendor and then click finish. Once the application has been created, we'll need to get some information from the application which Arc provides us in order to finish the integration in Burp Enterprise. To get this, under the application which you've just made, go to sign on, sign on methods, and go down to the SAML 2.0 section. Then expand the more details block. We'll need the sign on URL, the issuer, and the sign on certificate. So back into Burp Enterprise, we need to provide the identity provider entity ID. This is the issuer from the Oxford interface. Then we need the identity provider SSO URL, and this is the sign on URL. For the certificate, you need to download the signing certificate. And then open that in a text editor. I'm going to copy the certificate from here and then paste it into this block here. And then I'm going to add a company name into the company details section. This is what we'll show in Enterprise when you go to login on the login page. I'm going to call it a Portswigger, but you can give it a company name for where you work or anything that you like to show as a descriptive block during the sign-in page. And then I'm going to click save. Once I've got the tick, I know that the integration has succeeded. To show that it works, I'll sign out of here. And I'll sign out, sign out of Oxa as well, so I don't get any conflicting users. I can now see the sign in with Postfigure block, which we now have because we configured it to be like that within the SAML integration page in Enterprise. So I can now click login. I'll get redirected to Oct, and then I'll sign in as my user. And you can see that I've been signed into Burp. And that is how you configure Burp Suite Enterprise Edition to work with Okta for SAML-based SSO.